video is about calculating a permutation and understanding uh, the, the ways you can tell in the wording of a word problem that it is in fact a permutation type problem. So let's start by analyzing the wording in this particular problem. Reality TV shows like Survivor give prizes to top finishers. Suppose there are originally 20 contestants, so that's probably going to be important right there, 20 contestants at the start, and the top four finishers will each be given a cash prize of increasing value. So that means one of the finishers will get the most money, let's say that's uh, $100,000, and somebody else, second place, might get 30000 third place might get 20,000 and fourth place might get 10,000. Now, just to further flesh this out, let's say that Ted got the top prize, Edna second, Wilma third, and Ned came in fourth. All right, that is a different result than Edna finishing first, Wilma finishing second, Ned finishing third, and Ted finishing fourth. The idea here is that you need to recognize that the order of the finishers matters. That is the distinguishing feature of a permutation type problem. We're not going to go into the theory, we just want to get the result here. So as soon as you have decided that this is a permutation type problem, you have to ask yourself, well, out of how many persons or how many objects are we choosing? And that's 20 contestants. And it doesn't need to be Ted, Edna, Wilma, and Ned. You know, Frank or Bill or Susan can be in that top four as well. But anyway, there are 20 that you are choosing from and the number that you are choosing is 4 and once you've decided that you can just jump right to the calculator and so I'm going to go over to the calculator and start doing that now this is underneath the math menu but you first have to type in the value of the number you're choosing from you're choosing from 20 people then go to the math menu go to the PRB the probability sub menu and arrow down once to get NPR. The capital P there stands for permutation. So from 20, then you use NPR, and you need to tell the calculator, ah, further I'm going to choose 4. So type in 4, and then press enter on the calculator. Oops, error make sure you put the 4 in there and that result is 116,280 that is the total number of top 4 finishers for this problem 